and welcome to another Cyberpunk 2077 video and this one I'm going to be showing the net runner gear that I have got and the locations for it. I've got four pieces currently and then also at the end if anyone's interested I'll just show two pieces that I think go really well to finish off the set um, whilst I don't have the rest. So we'll start with the first piece and um, this is for the shoes so you want to head to that exact location right down there in Westbrook Charter Hill uh, once you are on the roadside where I am now, you'll see to the left there's a, a little hatch. Um, there's the indication where you need to look. Um, so yeah, you jump across and then head down into that little hatch. And then inside that hatch, uh, you will find the legendary Netrunner shoes. Now, as with all items, you can just run back and forth or reload until you get the free slot version. So make sure you get the best ones of them. Um, next we will go to one where you need to kind of find an item first which is for the glasses um, so head again to the location just shown there on the map and that's right down uh, on the south side of the map once on that main road where I just showed uh, you will come across a burnt out wreck on the side of the road and next to that wreck will be a corpse uh, once you pick up the transcript and read it that will open up a, a, a nearby mission side mission literally a few hundred yards up the road as shown there uh, and then once you've done done that just make your way to that location and once you're there you'll see almost looks like something drops out of the sky and landing in the crater uh, yeah it's just a, uh, a simple cabinet and in this cabinet is two versions of this so this would be easier for you to get a free slot version quickly uh, again you can just reload or run back and forth I always use the run back and forth method until I get the one I want but there there was a free slot version straight away now next is the pants there's two ways to get this if you've got double jump go to this exact location there in north side in Watson um, and once you're there you can just double jump up to that um, giant container cylinder whatever you call it by going the route that I am going now um, but I'll also show if you don't have double jump uh, how to get to there just from the normal road means in just a second and as always once you reach the location back and forth or save and reload until again you get the free slot version which is what you can get on the trousers so if you don't have like I say double jump simply just go around to the other side there's a little road here and once you've got that little road you can just simply go round the back as shown here and then make your way up the stairs like so and again, like I say, that north side in Watson, right up the top of the map for that piece. Now, the fourth piece, you want to head exactly here. Now, I covered this one on my channel a few weeks ago, and that is for the suit, the inner torso, uh, which is hidden in this little kind of hobo den. I don't know what you want to call this, really. Again, just follow where I've gone in there from the roadside, and inside you'll find a nice simple pickup again for the net runner suit again just reload save run in and out whatever your method is until you get the four slot version on there four is the maximum so that is the four net runner pieces now if you want the other two pieces which i think go really well which is the techie hat um and the jacket techie hat first is now shown on the map that is in the badlands in that little town again i've covered this one on the channel previously but i do think this goes well with this outfit uh, it's simply in a basement at the back of the building, uh, like I say, in the location on the map. Uh, just work your way down and again, just back and forth, back and forth until you get the free slot version. And then if you want the jacket, head to this location, again, down on the south side of the map. Um, it's at a gig, this one, called uh, Trevor's Last Ride. Again, I've covered this one on the channel previously. And it's Rafe's Rally Bolero jacket, which can come in epic or legendary. So you can run back and forth and keep reloading until you get the four slot legendary version. And that is how my Netrunner look is finalized. Until I know of other pieces in the Netrunner, four is the maximum I've got right now. It's also worth bearing in mind, once you have four pieces of Netrunner or four pieces of any other um, set piece, you also unlock special poses for your camera mode, which is five poses in total that you unlock if you're wearing four pieces of Netrunner or four pieces of corporate for example you'll notice that you've got an extra five poses in your photography mode but there we have it so what do you think do you like any of this let me know in the comments like subscribe 
and I'll see you in the next one.